Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Domingo, one of the faculty here at City University of Seattle, and I want to talk about our academic model. The goals of this video is to examine an element of the City University of Seattle academic model, it's to understand an instructional design framework, and we'll look at a specific example from one of the classes that we teach here. Finally, we'll have you consider how does student learning show up in your classes using our academic model. Now here at City University of Seattle, our academic model is comprised of five distinct elements. And today we're going to explore this one, a focus on student learning. I think in order to understand student learning, let's go back to Bloom's Taxonomy. And if you're not familiar with Bloom's Taxonomy, it's essentially a framework that describes the level of thinking going on in a learner, beginning with, at the bottom, knowledge, second, understanding, sometimes it's called comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. So for each level of thinking going on, here's another way to take a look at it. There are different words associated with it that describe this. So for example, if a student's doing synthesis, maybe they're constructing something, maybe they're arranging something, composing, collecting something, and so on and so forth for the other ones. Specifically, the design elements that show up in our classes are this. The outcomes are stated, learning activities are present, and pathways are clearly marked. I'll give you an example from this from one of our classes here in a bit. Now this is the focus of student learning, a focus on student learning, and you'll see this long uh, description of what it is, but specifically if you distill it there's three elements going on. There's clearly articulated outcomes, learning activities, and paths to demonstrate competency. I'm going to show you what this looks like in one of our classes in our doctoral program, LDRD 607, which is Cultural Competence in a Diverse Society. So you'll see here we are in our class, LDRD 607, and clearly, right off the bat, you'll see the outcomes. Students are aware explicitly, right off the bat here, that this course is to evaluate a complex organization and its ability to use global and diverse perspectives to serve a variety of stakeholders. Moving on, one of the modules of here, of, in the class, if you look at this module, um, for example, first of all, before we look at the modules, uh, you'll see that there's different elements. There's videos, there's different links, and in module one, if you look at it, there's a specific outcome and different objectives, clearly stated what students are going to do. Drilling down into module one, you'll see there are different links available, there's videos, there's discussions, there are other links to the course material. So clearly stated outcomes is the first thing. The second is there's different links and pathways available to different activities within that module. Now finally, within the assignments, you'll see that there's three assignments in this class. In module 10, I'll just give you an example of one. In module 10, they're writing an evaluation assignment. And in here, we just, uh, describe that the learning goal that's achieved by doing this is diverse and global perspectives. It's one of our learning goals that we have at the institution. And finally, this assignment aligns with program outcome number six. Evaluate a complex organization and its ability to use global and diverse perspectives. So again, clearly stating the outcomes that are aligned with the specific assignment. So I hope this quick tour has given you an example of how the CityU academic model shows up in our classes. Just a reminder, be simple. Simplicity with the outcomes is important. If it's clearly stated and it's simple, students will easily understand it. Secondly, provide a variety in the learning elements. You saw that in the class there were different links, there was videos, there was different other things that students can click through. Provide a variety of things. And finally, remind students why they are doing this, showing them clearly in the outcomes why this is linked to their learning, why they're doing it is important. So with that, I hope you have a great class as a faculty member here at CityU. Thank you.